Amethyst Cheesy Unicorn asks, what's your favorite type of cheese? Unicorn, is there a bad kind of cheese? I love cheese. I guess probably Swiss, because it is, after all, the holy cheese. Cerulean Gigantic Starfish wants to know, what was your favorite book as a child? I had a lot of favorites. Uh, I think James and the Giant Peach would probably be right up there. Uh, I loved when that big peach rolls over the evil ants. I just thought that was a wonderful scene. Pearl Posh Avocado asks, what is your favorite emoji? Well, I'm kind of old-fashioned when it comes to emojis. Can you be old-fashioned when it comes to emojis? Sure, why not? I like the smiley face. This one is from Topaz Dotty Tiger. I cried at Mark of Athena and Blood of Olympus. How do you connect with your reader's emotions? Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I made you cry. Well, I guess I'm glad I made you cry. Uh, I guess I just sort of think what would make me feel a certain emotion, and I try to impart that to the readers. And if you felt uh, strongly about the characters and what happened to them, then I guess I guess I did my job. Carmine Chatty Turtle asks, "What is your favorite ice cream topping?" You know, as long as there's ice cream under the topping, I really don't care. But I do like sprinkles. Magenta Glowing Falcon asks, How long, on average, does it take to write one of your books? Well, Falcon, it usually takes about two months longer than I actually have. However, I do the best I can. Six months to a year, generally speaking. Peridot Bubbly Phoenix wants to know, Would you rather have to sneeze but not be able to, or have something stuck in your eye for an entire year? Oh, that's an easy one. I'm very squeamish about my eyes. Stay away from the eyes. I much rather have to sneeze. From Violet Musical Tortoise, I know there are the Heroes of Olympus books, but would you consider writing more from Percy's perspective again? I love Percy Jackson too, but I have to say, the guy has been through an awful lot. I think I should probably leave him alone and let him finish high school at this point. This comes from White Rocking Porpoise. If you could have any topping on a pizza, what would it be? You're implying that there are toppings other than pepperoni? I will have to look into this. Azure Reading Werewolf wants to know, will Grover, Percy, Annabeth, Nico, Jason, Piper, Reyna, Frank, Hazel, and about 20 other people, and maybe even Leo, return or be mentioned in the Trials of Apollo? Will the seven half-bloods be reunited? Well, Werewolf, I'm happy to say that all of the people you just mentioned, and others, will appear at one point or another in the Trials of Apollo. Lemon Wintry Current asks, have you ever done skydiving? Oh, dear Zeus, no. Mm -mm. Like Percy, I try to stay out of the sky as much as possible. I'm a little terrified of heights. Tanzanite Rainbow Cat says, you're my inspiration and I just want to ask you this. What advice do you give to people who want to be an author just like you? Well, Rainbow Cat, it really boils down to three things. You need to read a lot, you need to write a lot to practice, and don't ever give up. That's probably the most important. My first book was rejected 14 times. If I'd given up after 13, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs>